Right now, water woes plaguing neighborhoods in Brevard County. They are dealing with mold inside and water at their door following weeks of just relentless rain. News 6's Jennifer Ortega has been following these problems along the St. Johns River. She joins us now live tonight in Coco with an update. Jen, still a mess out there. Yeah, Ginger, this is the worst we've seen it all week in this neighborhood. Now, neighbors tell me every time it rains, the water just keeps rising up to their doorsteps, and sometimes it even seeps into their houses. Now, tonight, many are saying they're bracing for the rain that's to come this weekend, hoping it doesn't damage their homes. It's devastating. I mean, it's... I don't know how to describe it, man. It's kind of a nightmare. Ken Hummel says they moved into this house the week before Hurricane Irma, and it wasn't long before the whole house was underwater. It was up to about there. It's about right up to about there. The water flowing through the living room and all the bedrooms, ruining furniture and causing mold to grow in the walls. After the hurricane, we used a canoe. Yeah, I canoed to my backyard, man, came in through my back door. Now, nearly a month later, the water in the front of his house has barely gone down. Hummel says a street can't handle any more rain. I'm hoping this rain we get this weekend from the hurricane or whatever that's in the Gulf doesn't affect us much because this is from Sunday. We can't take more rain because, mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, it's just not going down. Mm -hmm. So the water has no place to go. George Fry says some of his neighbors were forced to move out. They can't live in their houses, they're flooded out. Uh, it's just not a good situation. I'm terrified driving through this every day to go to work because I don't know what's underneath it. The water is so black you can't see anything. Now, neighbors say a lot of them didn't get flooding insurance because the county actually lifted the flooding restrictions in the area, saying all these homes were safe. But unfortunately, it still floods. Live in Brevard County, Jennifer Ortega, New Sex.